What do you use to tend your campfire? A stick? Your grandpa's brass-handled fire poker? Your camp shovel? Take a look at the Carbon Steel Pit Commander by Pit Command. It pokes, chops, rolls wood, makes fire control way easier. And let's be honest about the way this thing looks. We've all used a beer bottle, kitchen tongs, a buddy's shoe, whatever, to work our campfires, and we think it always went fine. I would argue that it didn't. Besides setting ourselves up for the risk of bodily harm, the fire wasn't anywhere near as controlled or as efficient as it could be. And you can't act like you're a Viking warrior if you don't have a tool that makes you look like a bad ass. The pit commander comes in at 30 inches, so you've got enough reach for most RV and camping fire pits. It's got an axe-like chopper. Now, it's not an axe, so don't think it's gonna act like one. But it will do a great job of hacking the bark off of logs and stoking up the flames. It also has a poker on the end, so you can poke, push, or pry all the logs right where you want them. You can really jam it in and shake some of the outsides off too and let the flames take back over. It's also really great for pushing your buddy back who's trying to mess with your fire. Come on, dude. Maybe it's like a neighbor at the campground and they're trying to mess with you. That's even worse. But my favorite part, really, this is the deal. The serrated hook. You can latch onto and lift logs. You can roll heavy logs. You can easily move logs back onto the flames when they fall off onto the side. I really love jamming it into a piece of wood and then lifting it back up onto the hot spot of the fire. So the other thing is that it's balanced really well. It's front heavy, so like gravity is your friend, but it's not so heavy that you can't lift it back up. Also, the handle has a nice groove. It's really comfortable in your hand, and it totally keeps you in control, even when you're really getting after some of the fires that you're working on. Okay, this is where things get philosophical and divisive. Marshmallows over the fire. Who is right and who is simply boring and wrong? How you burn your marshies says a lot. I am on Team Flaming Comet, where you put it over the hottest part of the fire and let it burn like it's not coming back for 120 years. A lot of people are on Team Slow Rise, Golden Sun, Low and Slow, Brownie Cakewalk, Take All Day Nonsense. There's one clear winner here, and it is Team Flaming Comet. Look, I tried to do one of these slow roast, silver, crispy, Go! I, I don't even know what they call it these days. This one took so long, I finally just let it flame. Poof, get in there. You gotta eat. People disagree. And listen, you do you. There's no right or wrong here. I mean, there is. But we're roasting marshies over a campfire. However you like them, it's your time. Enjoy your marshies your way. And that's what's great about marshmallows and the pit commander. You're in control. Do the flames however you want. Hot and flashy or slow and steady. Different times call for different fires and different attitudes, and different marshies. Whatever, you're at a campfire, and that is winning at life for a while. On the road, headed back to New Orleans, driving in the country. Past old timey scene Big birds were singing In the tall willow tree And given we make time I'll meet you down the line mm -hmm. A fiery peak at the heartometer in some camp sing-alongs known as the heart meter and it shows... Come on. It's a full five hearts. That's the first full five heart that we've had. <sighs> I'm in. I'm in. I totally agree. The pros are many. The cons are literally none. It even has these little rubber booties that you saw earlier to protect the sharper edges. This thing solves a campfire problem we all have and does it in style. It works so well, feels so solid, and man, is it fun. The Pit Commander is comfortable in your hand, it's powerful, it packs flat, and lets you be the master of your flames unlike any tool that I've used before. 
Huge shout out to Pit Command for answering my call and sending this product for review. I'm not tall enough to be a true Viking warrior. The rest of my build totally says Viking warrior, but without my height, I'm just not tall enough other than that full Viking warrior. But with a fire pit commander in my hand at my camp, maybe that doesn't matter, especially if no one's looking. I love this thing. Please like, subscribe, and the rest. It really helps this brand new channel. And a huge shout out to Travel Resorts America and to the Kermis Family Farm for giving us the space to put together these great videos so we can send them off to you. Look sharp on the road in a camp with gear from the iHeart RVing store. It's the best gear from the best RV magazine on the planet.